Well, this, this event is always such a fun event. This is children's choirs and this year we've had to have an extra morning because we've had so many choirs. So it's children's choirs um, and there are various categories like there is um, Scots song, there's a, a school there's a school choir, a class choir, schools of fewer than 250 pupils. So for example yesterday we had the whole of Bremar school came in all the way from Bremar which is a two hour coach journey. So it's a big deal for the children and um, we have an adjudicator who this year is uh, stepped in at the last minute, Judith Howarth. She's an international uh, opera singer. So the children really love it. Many of the classes they sing one prescribed song and then another song of their own choice. Nowadays sometimes there aren't music teachers in schools so today we had one choir that was conducted by a volunteer parent. Um, some schools have music teachers, some don't. If they don't, sometimes the class teachers conduct them and we have an official accompanist who will accompany them if necessary. But I'm also a member of the Aberdeen Chorus of Sweet Adelines, which is an all-women's barbershop choir. And we were competing last night in the adult choir evening, which was, a, again, a great fun evening. Lots of different choirs, mixed choirs, female choirs, male choirs. Um, so I helped to organise that event, but I also sing with my own choir. And we were lucky enough this year to qualify at, a, at our national competition. Uh, we, we qualified to sing at the international contest in the USA next year because Sweet Adelines is an international organisation. So we are look at, we're always on the lookout, as all choirs are, for new members. We've currently got around 70 members, age, age range from 20s to 80s. Um, it started at primary school, so I basically did choir at school and my first music teacher got me into singing and my first time I did the music festival was in primary six and I did it then and I've just kind of been singing since then. I was pretty much the same. My music teacher in primary told me to do the music festival and that was the first time in primary six and then since then I've been singing as well. I like to think that I make good choices and that my students like the songs that I pick, don't you? Yeah. Katie? Yeah. <laughs> um, but the, uh, I tend to base the song choice on the voice type. So Katie and Zoe have both got relatively high soprano voices, which is quite good because you can pick songs with a wider range. And for those with a lower voice or with a limited range you have to be a bit more careful in the songs that you pick because you don't want to pick a song that's going to strain the voice particularly at this age when their voice is still developing. Well I kind of I like doing in like solos and groups but I think the group so far has been my favourite because I like singing with other people. Well I, I just do the solo ones at the moment but my favourite one's just been the one that I've done and that's been the Scott song. Um, we um Check in all the people as they come in, make sure we've got everybody and um, when the visitors come in, we, um, they have a ticket, sell them a ticket um, and there's programmes to sell as well. Uh, the vocal side of this particular festival has grown immensely and it is now very large and includes a large number of teenage singers, which is a great joy for me, because for teenagers to be singing is just wonderful. And there are some excellent teachers here who prepare them well so that they come to the platform and they sing of their best and they are very comfortable and confident. I think this is a very important part of this festival. And um, I think it is developing really well. I think they had 400 entries into the vocal uh, classes this year and that is very many, many more than many other festivals that I go to in uh, Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Going back, that would be 2013, Ian. Um, there was like a civic reception down at the town house for the music festival personnel. And... Uh, I was invited along and lo and behold I was called 
forth and Len Aaron said presented me with this a life membership badge really just for service to the festival. I've served as a cash steward since 2001. I've never missed a year <laughs> and oh, I thoroughly enjoy it. I may be not so good in the performance room but I, I like the, the front of house here because you're meeting people and it's not only about selling programmes and tickets and that, you're, you're trying to answer queries for people, um, put them at ease and direct them. Well, I think it's, I think it's pacing each other and I think the competitive element really adds a little edge and they come and think, I can sing this. And this is a song I love to sing, because in so many classes, they have a choice to make. And the teacher and the singer will make the choice together. And then they will come and present the song that they have been responsible, in part, for choosing to the audience in a competitive situation. Yes, it is, but it's the first opportunity I've had in this festival, because each of all of the other classes, have, they have had their own choice. So it's the first time they've all been singing the same song. And sometimes it's much easier for them to remember the points I want to make by actually doing them in performance. And I think also it's rather nice for them to sing together.